<laughs> he went in. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another food court review episode of Fung Bros Food. One of the most requested videos that we had to do was the entire deli section at H Mart. H Mart is the biggest Korean grocery chain in America. It started from Woodside, Queens, and then its first West Coast store was actually in Federal Way, Washington, and I pretty much bought all the ponchons that I could get, $200 worth, and we got it laid out right here. $200. That's, that's crazy. The reason why Koreans have so much ponchon for a long time, Korea was a Buddhist country. Then later, the Mongols came in and was like, hey guys, we're eating some meat here. And then you get this beautiful mix of Korean barbecue. H Mart Deli, Deli, let's go. Yo, everybody, thank you so much for clicking on that video. And if you are thinking about getting your website done and you want it to look dope, definitely check out Squarespace at this link down below. If you click on squarespace.com slash bros, they are gonna give you 10% off of your first website or domain purchase. Just try it out. Go browse through the templates. I mean, it's super clean, easy to use. Definitely check out Squarespace and enjoy the rest of this video. One of the cool things about H Mart's Deli is that you can get just a, a big, just chunk of mixed rice. You can get the purple rice. This is a mix of white, brown, black, and sweet rice plus beans. It's mm. very uh, soft and chewy. Very sticky, chewy. It gives me this feeling of healthiness, you know? They I think we gotta try, try the, first. The, the, the Sun Ong Dong special. All right. We always go to this soup spot called Sun Ong Dong in LA, oh, and yeah. they have this as one of the main chai pancha. Uh, 5 dollars per pound. Chai, chai kimchi. kimchi. Sounds a lot better. Way better. Sounds a lot better. <laughs> it's kind of kind of bitter, isn't yeah. it? Alright, so guys, we're gonna do a quick kimchi battle. We got sliced kimchi, cabbage leaves kimchi. And then this is recommended by a worker that this was the best kimchi in the store. What does this say, Corey? Oh, Oshine. 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 Oshine kimchi. We also do brand deals for Asian products. Sliced kimchi. Mmm. Not bad. The initial taste wasn't bad, but then the, the fermented flavor starts to kick in afterwards. Our next door neighbors were this really old couple that were from North Korea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they used to make their own kimchi in their backyard. I don't know the exact process, but you put kimchi in jars and then you bury it for, I don't know, like a week or something. You bury it. Well, I don't think you have to bury it, but like, you put it away. Yo, I'm a big fan of the leaves. Yeah. I, I like leafy kimchi. Oh yeah, I like the leafy veggies. I have a feeling this is gonna be my favorite. Leafy kimchi. Different. I like that. Uh, I like this one a lot better. Mm. Not as fermented. Most highly rated canned kimchi at H Mart, or at least recommended. A lot more of a vinegar briny blast right there. It was the best one. Mm. Are we going to confirm that this is pretty good? Yeah, We're confirming? I ate it already. <laughs> if Nelson ate it all and he don't even like kimchi, it's good. Oshine. Marimashiso. Oshine at the top, yeah. and then you got the kimchi leaves, and then you got the regular kimchi at the bottom. David, I want to go on to your favorite ponchon at the Korean spot. What do you think it is? The mashi. Ah! So let's go with the potato salad at first. Ooh, David, I think you got to go first. I see carrots, I see peas, I see cubes. Corn. Carrots and peas, peas the corn. I see. Oh, man, I tried, I tried. oh, oh my hey, God. He went in. He went in. <laughs> going in. Oh, Exposed. He went straight Thanos with it. Yeah, it tastes more like egg than potato. There's potato, carrot, Kirby. It tasted healthy, but that was not my, it's not favorite, my favorite potato salad. All right, guys, let's try the kombucha, though. Kombucha is like a pumpkin, I believe. Kombucha salad. The kombucha's kind of good. I like it. It is crazy to me. I don't know, guys. I'm not a fan. Really? Try the kombucha salad over the potato salad when you come to H Mart. Fair. That's my recommendation. All right, guys, we got to keep it moving along through the kimchi. Here, we got the gokdugi kimchi. I'm not gonna I kind of like it. Yeah? It's a little bitter to me. No. Am I tripping? If it's compared to the other kimchi, it's considered sweet. So here we got the spicy cucumber kimchi here. So here, I, I, I do think it's cool how they kind of slice up the cucumber and then stuffed it with some of the ginger. Let's try this. You got some nice ASMR with this. Yo, that, that, yeah, might, no. that might have been my favorite one so far is this cucumber kimchi. Yeah. Wow. All right, so this is the seasoned young pepper. Go ahead and grab one. Seasoned young pepper. Damn, I think this is going to be hot. It's I'm starting to feel a little bit of heat from the seeds. Yo, that flavoring is good. That sesame sauce on top of it is nice. I'm hands down giving this the, my top pick. My mouth is on fire. Yo, that's crazy that your mouth is on fire. Mine's not. Mm, I eat the whole thing. 
Okay, all right, I'll give it to you. The end is hot. Eat the fat end. Eat the fat end. I still recommend it. I stand by it, right? It's tasty. No, it's good. It's good. I just maybe, maybe don't eat the end. Yeah. Here we have assorted wild weed. Here we have sesame leaves and soy sauce. And here we have fresh fried tofu. And Your this favorite. is favorite. This is one of my favorite dishes. Fried tofu. No, like the inside is kind of bland. But the yeah. outside, tofu, pretty good. I would uh, say, get it. Yo, I'm actually a big fan of these sesame leaves, man. I didn't get exposed to this till later. Eat it, it now. It tastes unlike anything else. Oh man. You don't like it? Eat it, bro. Keep going. Eat it. Ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. I'm not digging the flavor. <laughs> I, you know what? Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I, I'm into the sesame leaves. All right. I'm trying these wild weeds all together. I don't even know why they call them wild weeds. Assorted wild weeds. Let's go. I think where you see this oftentimes is bibimbap. I don't think it's a weed though. It's more like a, it's a like a beat or something. <laughs> wow, wild <wow>. weeds. <laughs> Nelson, are you drunk off of this kimchi? Uh, what happened, bro? It's making me crazy. It's making me go crazy. All right, we have made it into the seafood section. Hold on, let me take a good look at this <laughs> stuff, man. Like, All right, this is salted calamari, stir-fried dried shrimp, spicy anchovy. Mm -hmm. This is stir-fried squid, okay. and this is raw marinated. That's Mr. Krabs. Krabs. Right. So this is the only uh, sashimi that they had quiet. left in the sashimi section is uni. I'm going for the uni first. All right, let's, let's try. Just, You're going to eat the, the whole piece? What? Did you guys know that this is part of the dome? Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks for taking the L for us, David. Yo, that sh is like I just scraped the ocean floor ah, with my tongue. That's what I'm saying. Salted calamari. Who said it's salted, right? Because yeah. it is salty. Yeah. yeah you go right, for shrimp, right. guys. All right, so this is dried shrimp, but this is stir fried. Eat it whole. Of course you got to <laughs> eat the shell, bro. How are you supposed to eat the meat out of this? So you suck on it, bro. Yo, it tastes pretty shrimpy. Wow. Yeah. It tastes like those little dried shrimps. All right, anchovies. Yo, these are it's really good. good. These stir-fried anchovies might be some of the best ones I've ever had in my life. Stir-fried dried squid. I like it. It has, uh, it has this like caramelized. Mmm. And they brought it with these last fruit. Wow. <laughs> Get more of this. <laughs> oh, he went in. He went in. All right, let me try these eggs. Quail eggs. Oh, okay. Ooh. You saw that? It like blew up. Good. Woo! good. It's good. It's oh good. Are you ready to be adventurous though and go for these raw crabs? I ain't trying to get no food poisoning. You think H Mart would do that to you? I don't know. You think it's H Mart <laughs> or Hater Mart? Woo! Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Some kids, I know you guys are at home. Oh, crabs, because right you're probably wondering like, why? Why are you guys? Ew! They probably. <laughs> we're hey, stalling. No, hey, producer, <laughs> just called out now. She said oh, we're stalling. Uh, Adina was like, quit stalling, man. Just uh, eat it, guys. Ooh, you now quit eating it like a <laughs> like a sissy. You think I'm a sissy? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I guys. I wouldn't say that for young people, this is gonna be their favorite. On the All raw video crab. Purposes only. Only if you really want raw crab. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Son, that almost stabbed my finger. I, I gotta do a drink switch up. We have a peach drink, we have a green plum, I got the peach. and we have a cold brew. Cheers. Oh, right. that's good, man. That's sweet. Yeah, green plum. 2%, even though I don't know how to read Korean, but I can read numbers, it basically means it's a very healthy drink. Alright, so moving on to the Aquaman dishes. This is pan fried belt fish. Belt, belt fish. Belt fish. Not too strong of fish flavor. Kind of tasted like we were just like at the ocean and then just roasted this straight out of the ocean. No, in that, I believe that's a compliment because it kind of tasted somewhat fresh. Like It reminds you of those, you like, like, you know, those croakers that they give you in the Korean spots? Let's go on to the deep fried Alaska Pollock. I, I like the it better fish. than, really? Yeah. I prefer the belt fish. I think the quality of the fish on the belt fish is better, but I think obviously this one has more seasoning and more flavor. I think we need to lead it on with one other Pollock. Deep fried, sweet, half dried. That wow. like a drumstick. Wow, are we supposed to put this in a soup or something? Why is it so hard? It kind of uh, like tastes like I'm, a sweet and sour. It tastes like a sweet and sour type thing. I, I'm not with the pollock. I'm not with the pollock. Uh, Send the pollock away. I am banishing the pollock right now. To the trenches. Oh, don't fail me, salmon. Uh, Take that out of there. Salmon. It was pretty good. That was a quality piece of salmon. Yeah. Really fatty. I, I think yeah. you you let the salmon shine on its own. Salmon, rice, and then the squid dries to oh, Okay, okay. Good yeah, you combo. Got you got a combo. All right, guys. So this is like your variety plate. Kimbap. 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 It's good. Standard kimbap. 
Nothing to complain about, no. but nothing to rave about. Fried fish cake. Uh, this is a big drinking food in Korea. Yes. It's like a egg dipped fried fish cake. It tastes different. Yeah. It's okay. Flavor's not bad. Let's try the japchae. No, japchae is really good. Like on the guys. side. Like people yeah, just eat good. the I am a yeah. big supporter of japchae. Oh yeah. my gosh. We made it. Now you made it. To you the made last it. Last and final stage. Now you made it. The Season chicken. beef round eye. Season beef eye of round. I was wondering what the texture was gonna be like, and you guys will find out. Oh. The lady working there did tell me you will have to peel it apart. Uh, it's, yeah. it's very tough. Oh, it's very tough. Peel. No, what if you try to just bite it like this? <laughs> oh! oh. That's when you know it's so tough. If you look at it like a dip jerky, it, it, it's good. I feel like a dog where you're just like <laughs> chewing on a bone. <laughs> All right, guys, we're on to the pork section. We have boiled pork hock that is sliced, and then we have boiled and pressed pork ear. I'm gonna dip it into this what looks to be kimchi sauce. I, I don't, I don't really like it, but I, I don't like the ear. It's too rubbery. From any culture, you know it's what I mean? Too I, I really don't like the Chinese ear yeah. either. It's too rubbery. Pork hock. Pork hock. Pork hock. Pork hock. The pork hock is much better. Chicken. I'm going in. Chicken. Probably my favorite meat. It's got a little salt and pepper on it. The batter is not too thick. I like it. That is one of the best old dry wings I've ever had. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for our food section of the H Mart Deli. It goes roasted anchovy, radish kimchi, because I generally don't like that, sweet and sour wing. I'm rolling with uh, the kabucha salad. I'm rolling with the jarred kimchi. Salmon. Say, okay. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Pick. I have nothing to pick. <laughs> Say the pepper. You the like pepper. the pepper. Oh, the pepper. Hey, the we pepper. forgot the pepper. Right. The God. pepper, the dry squid, and the crab. Shut, Shut up! Shut up! You don't like the crab. Get out of here, yeah, bro. The they do such a good job of making the panchan and such a wide variety of it that I don't know if like the American-born Koreans are gonna need to make their own panchan in the future. Now with H Mart's around the country, you can just go there and get your tradition right there. Anyways, onto the sweet potato, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you about to take a whole bite of that or what? <laughs> Both of you guys. I broke mine in half. I mean, like, man, you guys had the whole fist. No, no, <laughs> y'all about to pie. I'm eating. No, it, you know, no, no, because this is what I was gonna do. I was gonna peel it like this, and I just go break it off like this. <laughs> and you, though, and you gonna go in. I was gonna eat that corn in the cob. I am a sweet potato connoisseur, and I co sign this sweet potato as good. You got with that one, but it is good though. No, this is a really good sweet potato. I'm not huge fan of sweet potato, but this one, this is good. delicious. It tastes good. Guys, we got the Korean rice cakes. This is the Korean mochi. The funny thing about that one, it says, uh, stay softer longer. Herbal rice cake with soybean. That's an herbal rice cake? This says herbal rice cake with soybean. Ah. Oh. Pretty good. Interesting. Salty. Herbal. Mm. You like the salt? The herbal. Salt. Wow. I don't know. What is that, red bean inside? Yeah. I like the that red bean. But I don't like the herbal salt thing on that. Your herbal with salty mochi, okay. Thank you everybody for watching that H Mart Deli edition of Fung Bros Food Court Reviews. It goes to show you that Korean culture is really becoming that popular globally. I think it does help that Koreans do serve kind of some funky side dishes because Korean culture is kind of, you know, considered pretty cool. But when a cool culture serves you funky food, that funky food becomes less funky. So now it's a little bit more normal. You're eating stuff like raw crabs. And I loved it. Yeah, Nell was a big Nell, fan. Nell, huge fan. Huge fan of the raw crab. Yo, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Make sure you like and subscribe on our channel. And definitely, definitely big shout out to our sponsor, Squarespace. If you browse through Squarespace, you're gonna see all these beautiful award-winning templates for pretty much anything you need to do, whether that's a blog, a shop, or portfolio. I mean, I think us coming up, I would have loved to have these kind of tools. Like, literally, whatever you plan to do, you can get your own domain, feel legit, look good, become productive, definitely go check it out. Uh, Squarespace is easy to use, it's intuitive, they have powerful editing tools. I mean, just check it out. And if you click on this link down below, squarespace.com slash right now, they're gonna give you 10% off of your first website or domain purchase. So, all right everybody, thank you so much for checking out that video. Make sure you like and subscribe, check out Squarespace, and until next time, I'm out. Peace! Last but not least, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching that video. In the comments section below, you guys, make sure you let us know what other food courts or supermarkets you would like to see us try. All right, and until next time, this is Nelson Chan, aka Hoopin' Life, David and Andrew from the Fung Bros. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.